Collab. <laughs> if you haven't seen Mark Rober's Auto Strike bowling ball video yet, then you should check it out in his channel. And if you have seen it, you'll notice I'm in it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the time I spent with Mark and how I built the insides for his special bowling ball. So Mark wanted a bowling ball that he could steer after he's thrown it, and it looked just like a normal bowling ball and a normal bowler, but basically it made him much better at bowling and much more likely to score a strike. Mark contacted me because I built some round robots in the past, including my replica of BB-8, BB-9E, and various other prototypes along the way. So I guess I seem like the logical person to do it who can build robotics, build round rolling robots, and build the radio control system. The first prototype I made was 3D printed, and I've got some of the parts here, although we use the internals for future versions. So that's all 3D printed, it turned out a bit bigger than a bowling ball, but that gave me plenty of space to put the internals in. And the main principle is here that we've got an axis which it rolls on in one direction and a pendulum which swings side to side to steer it, just like the BB-8s that I built. It turns out there's a bit more to the control than that as I expected, but it seems to work pretty well and I can steer it left or right with a joystick via radio control once I've already thrown the ball. If you've watched Mark's channel you know he only puts one video out about once a month and so he wants to make everything look perfect. So Mark had a machine shop cut actual bowling balls in half and those are the ones I was going to use to make more prototypes. So I rebuilt the mechanics to fit and moved the electronics over and then we got on to the next set of working bowling balls. We've got a Teensy 3.2 in there as the main microcontroller along with various other components including an MPU6050 inertial measurement unit. The remote is now based on an Arduino Nano with another inertial measurement unit, the Adafruit BNO055 Breakout. And of course we've still got a radio link, the NRF24LO1, on both halves so they can communicate. And now the result is of course as we lean the electronics side to side, we can steer the bowling ball. But we need a bit more control than that to stop wobbling things when we actually steer the ball so the ball itself, its internals, are also reactive to its own angle using the onboard inertial measurement unit, and that should deaden any side-to-side -side wobble. So let's imagine I'm holding a heavy mass, like a bowling ball, and I start to fall over in one direction. What I want to do is push that mass in that direction to push me back to the centre, and that's because the mass is heavy, it has a lot of inertia, so the reaction of me pushing it is to push me in the opposite direction. So if I start to fall over, I push it that way, and that re-centres me. And that's why the bowling ball pendulum is actually moving in the direction of any wobble to try and stabilise the shell and keep that dead on centre or at an angle we say from the remote. There's a whole bunch of Arduino code programmed on those microcontrollers which makes the ball react in the right way as well as making the remote be sensitive enough. So we've got a PID controller that basically makes the IMU react as well as the first order filter to take all the sharp edges off. But I've only thrown the ball in this room which is about 20 feet long and it's got carpet and of course a bowling alley is much longer around 60 feet long and of course it's got a really smooth floor so we had no idea what was going to happen. So before Mark flew over, I decided to go to a bowling alley and give it a go. For most of the testing, I blocked the bowling alley with blankets so the ball didn't get stuck in the return chute. It's probably not going to roll in any other axis, so I thought that might be a problem. It looks like it works pretty well though, and I can steer it, and if there'd been pins there, I probably could have hit them in the middle even if it didn't knock all of them over. There is some side-to-side -side wobble, and you can see it kind of looking like it's trying to home in on its target, wobbling side-to-side. -side. And actually I tried to tune that out in software, but it turned out it was much better if you just threw the ball straight so the axle was perfectly across the bowling alley and it was perpendicular to the direction of travel. I thought I should try knocking down some pins, and I only hit them slightly once after hitting the bumper, but unfortunately bowling balls aren't that strong when you hollow them out, although this was a side that had an access cap in it, so it's probably slightly weaker than the other half. As a result, Mark had more bowling balls made in other materials, thicker and thinner, and lots of things for us to try. So now it's time to do it for real. So Mark came to visit. He touched my robots. What was this motor spinning on the back? That plate turned that ball like that screw. Right now, right? That's it. I see. Motion, so or... that's how it moves it up and down. And this... another belt drive in each arm here, and then the two um, third shoulder axis is facing down here. And then the elbow, of course. You are too much, dude. Which button makes it go sentient and attack us? None of them yet. None of them. I'm gonna put it on a wheelbase eventually. <laughs> so there's something about this that's so powerful. 
That is wild. And also, you've got the, the middle here. So if you pull this pull this whole rig back, pull it. Oh! So you can do like surprised, or you can do whatever. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Dab. Careful not to smash his own head off. <laughs> Okay, and dab to the left. Whoa. Oh, That's coming back, right. coming back. This okay. is a dangerous way of controlling it. Now floss. Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to try that. Of course we discussed my BB9E and BB8 builds and the differences between that and the bowling ball and you can check out those things in my channel as well as my other robots. But then we thought we should go to a bowling alley really and test the bowling ball. use this for reals, I'll have a jacket on to cover that up. Put some more in the water. Well, I think it's Well, he seemed pretty happy with that. So Mark's taken the ball home to play an actual game of 10-pin bowling with it. So if you want to see how that goes, you'll have to check out the video in his channel. If you want to see more robots like this, check those out in my channel. All right, that's all for now.